Hi, I'm Crystal. I've loved dolls since I was a child and never outgrew it. I enjoy collecting all types of dolls, but my favorite is reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Ava, Zoe, Haley, and Landon. Along with collecting, I've been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi everybody. So I'm here to take part in a Wednesday Wednesday with Miss Yuki. And for this Wednesday Wednesday, I am gonna put her in this onesie from Next. It was one of the first things I bought her. It's got a little panda bear on it and it says panda. And it has this matching hat. And then I also pulled out her little panda stuffed toy that I got from the Made by Hand show. So let's get her changed. She's been in this outfit for a while. Her eyes are a little bit dusty. I should have got a Q-tip out, but that's okay, right, Yuki? There we go. So, <laughs> I have something to tell you guys. So, I still haven't found out um, from, I still haven't heard, found out anything from Margaret's mom about my job. But something interesting that I did find out this evening was about the other job that I, you know, like I said, I've been hesitating about whether I want to take it or not. And it's weird because, like I said, I went to visit the family for like three hours on a Sunday afternoon. This was about three weeks ago now. And it was just really odd because it wasn't like any other interview I've been to where, you know, they'll end it by saying, well, we're still interviewing people. Um, and so we will be in touch with you, um, you know, if we want to hire you kind of thing. Um, it was more of a, they were asking me, were the hours okay for me? And I said, yes. And... You know, they were going over all the different things and would I be okay with that and yes and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, would the commute be okay and yes. And um, they asked me what um, the families I've worked for so far have done in terms of um, vacations and holidays and all that stuff. And I told them, and, and they said, well, we would definitely be fine um, doing the same. So, you know, all seemed well. And they were, you know, saying, do I know when my final date of work would be? And I said, well, they hadn't given me an exact date, um, but, the, you know, it sounded like it would most likely be the end of August. And so they said, okay, because we were hoping, you know, that you'd be able to start September the 1st. And I said, I should be able to, but you know, I'll let you know when, as soon as I find out. And so we kind of left it at that and they said, okay, well, um, you know, keep in touch, which I just kind of took as keep in touch in terms of like, when can I start kind of thing, but they didn't, come flat out and say the words, well, we'd like to hire you or we'd like to offer you the job position. So it was kind of an odd ending to an interview. And then I ended up getting sick that week, like later in the week. And with me being sick and everything like that, and I was sleeping like most of the day and everything, I just, I wasn't even thinking about contacting them. And I, I just assumed, you know, everything was good and whatever. So then, you know, I decided to 
I was going to go and contact them tonight just to kind of keep in touch as to what was going on. <laughs> and I decided before I did that, I was going to go onto the nanny website where I found their, or where they contacted me through and look at their job posting again just to see if it was still up because I figured if they were assuming that they were hiring me that they would remove the job posting. So I wanted to go and check on that before I contacted them and lo and behold I find that they have changed the entire job posting from a part-time after school nanny to now they're looking for a full-time live-in nanny and I was like what <laughs> and so I was like oh interesting like they never contacted me to say that their situation changed and they're now looking for a full-time nanny so that was a little bit odd but at the same time um obviously it wasn't meant to be and kind of stands to reason why I was having apprehensions about it because it wasn't meant to be <laughs> so I'm kind of crossing my fingers and praying and hoping that this means I'll be staying with Margaret I hope <laughs> um, and if for whatever reason they can't afford to keep me I'm hoping that maybe they'll at least be able to keep me a little bit longer than just the end of August. Um, so it'll give me a little bit more time to job hunt, hopefully. So, but I, I don't know, like I'm hoping it all works out because it's kind of suspect that, you know, last week was the week that I kind of came up with this idea to offer to lower my hours if it meant that I could stay with them. And lo and behold, this week, <laughs> the job that I was so apprehensive about is no longer looking for a part-time nanny, but a full-time live-in nanny. So it kind of makes me wonder where things are going. Um, so that is that. <laughs> um, I just thought that was interesting. But anyways, here's Yuki. And let's give her her little panda bear toy right there oh she looks so cute I don't know if you guys can see her let's see okay there we go let's go like this so that you guys can see her face I hope you can see her face hmm let's see got to look at your aunties and uncles let's see if we can prop your head up a little bit more Okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to adjust the camera. Okay, there we go. Look at her. Oh, my Yuki. My Yuki Baduki. <laughs> Look at that face. She just makes me smile so much. Oh, look at her rocking her pandas. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is it for our onesie Wednesday video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to click that thumbs up button if you did. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Today is a special day. Um, as most of you know, my cousin Brittany passed away when she was 16 from cystic fibrosis. And she was 16 and a half basically. She was gonna be turning 17 that summer. And today is her birthday. Um, today she would have been turning 27.